um, called uh, Majaviona Aurelius, and um, uh, I'll finish the Bachelor of Arts and Social Sciences from here. I graduated this year, January, that was last year, January. I had a, a, I graduated with a degree of Bachelor of Arts and Social Sciences, and I was a major political science. Right now, um, I'm a doctor to coordinate this program properly. So um, they are also you've been talking to on the phone, especially for makers. Nice to meet you and please let's enjoy as patriots, as Ugandans, and as well as brothers and sisters. Welcome to Makere and enjoy your day. Thank you. Uh, so is the that's the team I was talking about, comprising of himself, Hassan, Chavez, and myself. Uh, for those who have just come, my name is Will Solomon. Um, coordinating with the, those three is ideological study cells in all universities, but also I lecture here in the Department of Political Science and Public Administration. Uh, I'm just going to talk about the concept. I hope everyone has this. So let's go to this question. Uh, maybe before I go to the background, uh, you must I was a bit impressed when they asked how many of you have, have never gone through a job. Only one person put up the hand. So it shows, uh, after most of you have gone through training or they have been a workshop on graduate so you must be having an idea. Uh, this program of patriotism, and we have the whole talk management here. It has been more visible in, in, in secondary schools. It started in 2010, and then there was this question. What about those who leave secondary schools? What makes it? Because there was no uh, group to coordinate them. So that's how we came up with this idea of having some of you as under, some of you under the ideological study groups. Uh, but what actually prompted this was the every year we had a training of S6 leavers. So these were very serious people committed. And I can show you how committed you are. We have a gentleman. Uh, he had actually gone home. He stays in Kasese. So when we invited him for this program, he told us he was in Kasese. We told him, you know what, we have invited for up country. Why don't you attend the next one? The next thing we see, he was here in the morning. He transported himself. He was here by himself. Who is that gentleman? The one who coordinates Chambu. Yes. All the way from Cassis. And yet some of you sleep in hostels behind me. So, just so it shows the commitment. So the, uh, what I was trying to say is, we have been training as six leavers, and these people have been urging the secretary, what makes we need platforms where we can engage in uh, patriotic activities and other related issues. So that's when we came up with the concept. When you look at this concept, the concept is something that is not yet adopted. Uh, so we are going to discuss it and we shall have room for discussion where you feel, because it's not right to impose things on you, we should have also an input on how we can manage to run these ideological study groups. Those of you who are here today will be coordinators if you accept. And if you have noted, most of the universities, we invited faculty leaders. For those of you who are not uh, post coordinators, we are going to show you how you, you need to bring people on board, like class coordinators or post coordinators. I believe in working it as a team. That's why I will not say I'm the, I'm the coordinator. No, we are a team of four people. And when you're in a team, you actually, you're more efficient. Because some of you may be very busy with studies, at least someone feels the gap. So learn to adopt teamwork. So when you look at this background, uh, page one, a 
I'm actually talking about why do we need this study of books? I talk about the colonialism, I talk about the education system that we have, whereby we no longer think. Actually, it's like when you talk of the education, I think maybe uh, when it comes to universities, where you have no rules, strict rules, because if you want, you come for a chat. If you don't want, it's up to you. So people, there is no that uh, they are not motivated. This is because we have no purpose in life. Some of us think we are we have lost it all. We feel there is no solution. So we believe this program will change that attitude. And one of the reasons why I believe so much in this program is me, I was able to go through the trainings we went through when I was in Mexico. And one thing that changed is the attitude. And I have never looked back. So I believe this will also contribute towards the change of attitude. So when you look at first, the first page, I'm talking about uh, colonialism, what it did, and even us as universities, because after colonialism, they started these universities, especially if you see after independence, they started establishing a university. Why were these universities established? They were supposed to address, provide solutions. They were looked at as think tanks, those that would provide solutions to the problems we have. But how come we are being persistent in these problems? Are they being solved? When you graduate, what contribution do you make apart from looking for a job? And when you look for that job, do you have a solution to the problems we have? I think those are the questions we shall be discussing on as we go on. So, of course, we have been having so many uh, problems, political. Mm -hmm. Yes, if we are going political, I think we can be of the week because the discussions are there. Social, mm -hmm. when you talk of poverty and employment, legal, it's really, we are still, we still have those tendencies. Demographic, technological problems that have existed up to date. So how can we solve this? And when you look around the room, we have different faculties. And how come we can't even contribute a single solution to some of these problems? So that's why we believe uh, it's really our, our time, it's never late, that we can have these ideological uh, study groups to address different issues. Since we are from different faculties, we need to start pushing, not only pushing, but also get solutions for, for the problems that we face. Uh, I know some of you were here last year. Uh, Brigadier Masca at that time was complaining that our education system has been so hostile, not only the government, but also, especially the universities. We have closed out universities. That's because we sometimes do not want to own up the problems. Because these problems may not be only, uh, they are not only created by government, they can be created by we ourselves. So he was of the view that we need to, to open up and then see how we can. Because you cannot know, you cannot solve the problem. You can imagine if you you married, your husband, husband and wife are not talking. How will you ever solve problems? You can never. Then also the Commissioner for Patriotism, who is also here, he felt this for us to have a prosperous, and that is page two, if you look page two, for us to have a prosperous and happy republic, 
young minds must be empowered with an operable spirit of resilience and courage. As I've told you, some of us who have been wrong, even with the education system, some of you say, oh, we are just passing through, there are no jobs. So there is no uh, sense of creativity, there is no sense of innovation, because they are just all. Uh, so these platforms will give you that sense of, of hope. So what are these ideological uh, study groups? Uh, they are premised on think tanks, and we have a uh, professor who is going to come and ground you on think tanks to, to make it clear. But for me, I want to, because of time, I want to go straight to how we can how we can be premised under think tanks, the idea of think tanks. As you notice, if you, some of you who are part of the Patriotism Club, uh, Patriotism Club in secondary schools, we were focusing on six main points. One was study, reminding you the role of the student. But even here it still applies, because as I told you, I lecture here. Some of the students are here, they know. When you lecture, they are around 120. When it's like for example, you see around 300. So where are the other ones coming from? They learn by rumors because they they are not they see no value in education or they forget to locate themselves. Who are they? So that one may still apply, but in university uh, in secondary school there were six main points. Yes, they may still apply, but we feel now you've graduated because. When you're in the secondary school, there is a target that is set. You're looking towards university okay? progression. But now you're at university. Who are you as a university student? You need also to locate yourself. What is expected of you as a university uh, student? And also we have parameters that guide our universities. And this, these are the ones that are going to we are going to use as a framework to guide our ideological study groups. So they will be uh, premised on think tanks, which the professor will talk about, but we felt we should concentrate on three main things. That is research, uh, because we don't must to be involved in research. At our level, we don't expect to just draw conclusions. We are supposed to carry out some research. Uh, the other one is transmission and interpretation role, which I will talk about. And then, of course, networking. Networking, computation, and of course, the airline transfer, which I will also highlight later. But uh, if you talk of these ideological groups, I feel we should concentrate on the following. If you go to page three, Page three, you will see playing a mediating function between the government and the public. So these ideological study groups, as I told you, they will be based on research. And remember, they will be at faculty level. It can be faculty level. There are those who are lawyers, there are those who are in economic, economics. For instance, if as the ideological study groups, uh, maybe of students of economics, we sort of policies like the OTT tax. If we had discussed it thoroughly, then also maybe we carry out some survey. Don't you think it would have to be easy to build trust between the government and the, the public? We wouldn't, because how is it managed? We introduce, let's say we are going to introduce OTT tax. Then some of us, uh, the students of economics, discuss, debate about it, then carry out the study. They would know, is it applicable or not? Rather than, like what happened, you saw the instance, they had to reduce it and it was the cause of it. Because people had distrust in some of those policies. So we feel we shall fill some of those gaps. 
So we shall play a mediating function between government and the public, mainly to build trust, confidence in public officials. Then the second one, of course, through debates in our different round tables or faculty tables, we are able to have an informed and independent voice in the policy debates. Uh, the other one is we shall also identify, articulate, and evaluate current issues. Then also look at different proposals. There are proposals that usually are awarded by government or that are usually awarded to different institutions and programs. We shall also look at transforming ideas and emerging problems into policy issues. But all these are based on, actually they are, they will be evidence-based through research and of course through debates so that they are, you build that trust. Uh, then the other one will be providing a constructive forum for exchange of ideas and information. You know, in the, I don't know whether some of you have heard about the Rukwagos. You know, Makerele, uh, in the 90s, some of these politicians, of course, some were in the very vocal, they had these small ideological study groups. And you can see how far they have gone. But when you come here to feed my department, you don't have those uh, debates. And that also creates uh, a hatchet for some who are uh, aspiring to be politicians, to be economists. Uh, because you, you, you vocal and of course people tend to identify some of those great ideas. So we feel these platforms to provide that avenue for such, or we should revive some of them. Uh, also, we shall facilitate the construction of issue networks. Since some of you are, actually most of us now are from different departments, there are so many issues. But now remember they are within your line of expertise. So this should give you an avenue for you to contribute solutions to some of these Idea. Because I remember I was talking about issues, social, um, economic, political, and we are different fields. So that is the idea that we should have. So uh, when you look at page three, I show there will be three main uh, roles, core roles that we shall play. One is the research role. Of course, we shall uh, have. Actually, our work will be to provide professional advisory opinions and solutions. Because when you carry out some research, so that you just don't draw conclusions. Have time to debate, then have uh, advisory opinions. And this can be, of course, through, we can have reports after discussions in our different roundtables in faculties. Not only reports, we can also have prospective studies, monograph uh, monographic study reports, survey reports, you can cut out a small survey. Uh, we can also have, some of us just get information, you know, like those of you who are in communication. You like things that are hatched. Sometimes you don't mind what it may cause. So we need to change this attitude in all the fields. So everyone will have a role to play. But how do we envision this? How do we how can we achieve this? Go to page four. Uh, in Makere, we have I think nine colleges. So we feel each college uh, should have representatives, like uh, for here we have college school faculty. So the college should have uh, representatives, and then school also have representatives, and then the faculty also should have representatives. And we are looking at, uh, as I told you, let's work as a team. You know these titles, sometimes we get uh, swallowed by titles. 
So let's know the mission. What is the mission of these ideological study groups? We are looking to have a different breed of students. So you're like a, when you're preaching, like some of you who are Christians, or when you're preaching the good news, you don't want to be the only good one. You want the rest also to benefit. So let's have that idea. And also maybe before I continue, let's not think that uh, this can be achieved through monetary terms. I know some of you may say, okay, now you see this is the, the office that is coordinating patriotism must be having sacks of money. Then we are going to fail. Because we have been having this great idea for some time. But how come it, it has taken us some time to even have this in the party dialogue? I was begging you that maybe let's take the, the motto of Rotary. I usually I'm not, I'm not a member, but I see people of Rotary Club. I don't think they, they have people who sponsor them. It's, it's their conviction. They, are, they believe in the idea. So even us, we should believe in the idea. For instance, in our own campuses, we don't need external facilitators. Through these round tables, we can have an issue to discuss about. And really, it doesn't require a whole day, and it doesn't require funds. We may have, uh, for instance, those who are lawyers, maybe we can discuss rule of law, for instance. Have a platform and discuss rule of law, debate. If possible, like now you have contacts, call a few judges, let them guide you. Not only do you get information, but also there is that networking that you get. And as you will see later, there are so many advantages in these platforms. Some of us got, we are known through these platforms. But what is happening, we no longer have these avenues to get known as students. Because we go with our normal business lectures and that's it. You move out, no one has ever heard about you. So we think this is an advantage for you. So when you look at the page four, there are colleges. We think all these will have coordinators. But also, we are going to interest uh, people, as you see on the structure. Let's go to page five. Are you seeing the structure? Structure by biological study groups. So the second one, that is the one that is supposed to handle either faculty. Some of you are under faculty system. If you are under faculty system, we are going to try and maybe interest one lecture to guide us. So in other words, when you have um, like school of uh, college of humanities, we should have a lecture to guide us. So I think it's when some of you leave, you don't go with the idea. But also with time, while we are staying working the, work as a team, keep getting course coordinators. Remember these course coordinators are in third year, second year, and first year. So as some of you exceed, others are doing what? Coming in. You get the idea. So let's adopt that. But uh, when you look at the structure of these ideological study groups, we have the coordinating team, the one I talked about, myself, Alonso, Hassan, and Chavez. That is the coordinating team that was appointed by Patriotism Secretary. Then we shall have uh, that person we talked about. It can be a person of the college or school at the level of the lecture. And he can even, if you don't mind, you can even make him a contact person in that university. Because we should have a person like, like here, we are two people. If you talk about uh, this program, there is me and Professor Rita. We are not. So when we go to a university, which lecturer can you first refer to us? So that is also your, uh, as coordinators, you need to think about having some of those lecturers on board. Then when it comes to faculty, as I said earlier, uh, you need a team of course coordinators. 
these cost coordinators, as I told you, they are for tra uh, transition. As you move from, uh, as you finish your course, you have people who are coming in. And also, you can, uh, as I told you, this is the concept. We are not imposing it on you. You can, we shall discuss, we shall have time for discussion. So please, if you feel there is uh, another better way to make it better, then you let us know. Then also, at the level of the course coordinators, the ones I told you in first year, second year, and third year, you should do, make sure they have two other people. And who are these two other people? That is the deputy course coordinator in charge of mobilization. Okay. You, will, you will task that person in each course to have someone who is in charge of mobilization. As I told you, you start with a nucleus of those who have trained in basics. Then build on those by trying to recruit maybe some who are ready within that course but have never trained. Then also you need a coordinator of publicity. Uh, publicity is very important. Like now, uh, we have your reports. I think we shall have a we shall have a platform for all the coordinators now. Since you're coordinators, we shall have a, I hope all of you are in uh, social media. Are you on WhatsApp? Yes. Yes, OTT. <laughs> OTT, we shall see how we go about it. So, let's have publicity. But also, we are like we have uh, within the National Secretariat for Patricia Club. We have an officer in charge of communication. So he's, we shall work closely with him to ensure that uh, you publicize some of your events, but also he will give you tips on how you can use those social media platforms. So on the issue of coordination, uh, as I told you, we are looking at you being our coordinator. For the start, yeah, you have been selected from different faculties or from different schools. So for now, you are our contact person in each university. However, we are lucky we have uh, the main office, uh, and you can see the top management is here. These are the ones who guide us. They will guide the ideological study groups. What is expected? What is expected? What should we do? We shall get directives from, from there. And later, of course, uh, we shall have a session by Madame Ross and uh, Mr. Magomo on operationalization and maybe monitoring how they will keep guiding us. Then also for coordination purposes, like now, uh, next semester, as we start next semester, next semester, we, we would request you start, because now you're the coordinator, Start by registering alumni. You will have students who are coming from uh, secondary schools, joining universities, and who are active in those patriotic clubs. So start by registering them. But you can also build on the nucleus of those who will have trained uh, in this vocation. Yes, they will train some S6 parties. Uh, so you can build on those, start with those, then also start by putting those who were active in secondary schools. Uh, then also, of course, you need a database of those, both the, those who were training in the secondary schools and then those that have just uh, finished the S6 vacation training. We have as far as those of who are trained in Nusira. I see some of you are trained in Nusira, others are trained in uh, Shimon. So try also to locate some of those. They are there. Actually, as I move around campus, I see them in t-shirts. You remember those t-shirts? You see how uh, you see someone smiling at you, but when I see the t-shirt, then I know that this is the person from uh, Patrick's. So please try and locate those. Then also. As I gave you a structure, you need to, because now we may not be wherever you are, 
we want to entrust you to have a team that I was talking about. Have a team at, uh, for each faculty and then each course. And uh, since we have a platform, you can actually share some of those. Uh, those, uh, those. You can share your structure with that also. Then, uh, at the right time, I think this will be also a point for discussion. How do we engage administration? Because I see you engaging in administration in certain issues, especially other, other group, uh, how do you call them, these other platforms, the clubs you have, other different clubs. So is it possible for us to engage administration? Would you want the, the top management to do that for you? That would be a point for discussion. Uh, the other one is publicity. How do we intend to publicize some of these activities? Uh, there was a magazine. There was that uh, suggestion of a magazine. So we could have some of the best activities in this magazine. You can write, and if you have a book paper, this can be published in the magazine. But that is one way to publicize our, uh, some of the activities. As I told you, we have a, a communication department. Are you on page six? Number two, we shall streamline communication in, li in liaison with the, the communication department of the Secretariat for easy and efficient dissemination of information. So we shall have this group of coordinators, but uh, it will be, of course, managed by Mr. Mugisha. And uh, those of you who have, I think some of you have been on, on some of those other groups, like the coordinators, I think also you have some uh, WhatsApp groups for training camps. Those of you, some of you were in those training camps. So we shall utilize these social media platforms. You can have, you know, you can, uh, one way to, because what I see in universities here, like if I want personal communication, I just call my boss coordinator. And then I don't know the house. I don't know how they do it, but within time you find the students have got the information. So I believe we can use this social media platform. First of all, show the good things we are doing. Um, how do we show the good things we are doing? If we have these uh, platforms, some of you may have well researched. If you have innovations, like I had people who are in technology, food science, you may come up with something new. So these are some of the things that should be in magazines or WhatsApp group. Let's have constructive things. Let's not post, you know what we post on groups, out of board, but let's have constructive things. Then also, these days there are so many radios and so many TV stations. We can also utilize some of these. Uh, this airplane. I was told that uh, some of these radios can give free airtime to some government agencies. So I don't know at the right time we shall have to engage the top management on how we can utilize some of this airtime. So that you have some of these debates. Some of you are aspiring MPs. We want you to, by the time you start thinking of protesting, people already know you. People already know how intelligent you are. So those are some of the platforms we shall have. Uh, we can also do community outreaches, uh, like material, we are near Mlako. We can cause change, maybe in the environment, for instance, we may go around Telling people that cleaning is the norm. You are, it's, it's normal. If they see some of you with the, you know, intellectuals or market, as you call yourselves, or chamber or moves, cleaning the nearest market, teach people that we need to live in a clean environment. Don't you think that's the change for the start? We don't have, as I told you, as patriots, we don't have big purpose. We are agents of change, 
So let's start with those small, and people will join you by looking at such small things. Because such small things change the attitudes. Like the person who is selling will say, okay, this young man has told me I shouldn't be selling in, a, in that environment. That is something, it's something to think about. Uh, we shall also have in the university dialogues that will bring students together like this one. We are still, uh, we, have, we hope to engage the secretary if we can have this every year. And, we should have, and this is timely because now we are about to have uh, first year students coming in. So this guides us and also those of you who will be coming you give us reports. What have you done during that time? What do you intend to do to stabilize the, some of these uh, ideological strategies? But uh, these dialogues also can, if there is time, we can even, we don't have to come all of us, we can start with those near us. Like there are some universities where you find they are near each other. Like I pass in Rubaka, I usually see like three universities near each other. Don't you think we can have synergies? on certain issues. So we need to think of that. And you don't have to spend over five hours. You just need one hour to discuss something. Or you can have one hour and invite any of these uh, resource persons. So we need to adopt, as I told you, some of you are in a Rotary. We can adopt some of those models. Uh, then we also, in future, we want to start our learning certificate especially those who have been involved in these activities, so that you are recognized for the work you do. We can also, if money allows at a certain point, we can have some souvenirs, t-shirts, wristbands, branded pens, but all this is for publicity. And lastly, I think we need an annual reunion. It can be for coordinators, it can be for members. But this will be discussed, of course, with your input and the, our people who guide us. Then on the issue of training, that is another aspect that we are looking at. As I told you, each year we are privileged to have a nucleus that will be forming these ideological groups. These are the six parts. So each year we have this annual training of senior six. So they will be actually joining some of your groups. But also, we don't have to wait for this training. We can have routine lectures of opportunity. Like in Makere, we had one with the Brigadier Muslim. Those of you who are in first year, I saw you the first year student there. Uh, we had one where he came and he talked to the first year students. So you can also organize, that's why I'm saying course coordinators are very important. Engage course coordinators, they can provide you a lot of opportunities. Uh, the other one is, uh, we can also have round table discussions. You don't have to be a hundred, even within your department, you can be ten. But that ten may be very intelligent students who may cause change, or who may, who may contribute to some of the solutions we are looking for. So don't look for numbers, actually. I know some of you tend to say, like, uh, you meet someone, like, you know what? I can get you 300 members. But those 300 members, they may be, they may not have the, the qualities that you're looking for. And you know what I'm talking about. So we can have these roundtable discussions at each faculty. If you, it's not each faculty, it can even be each course. Like when you see when you see maybe it can be each subject. Within that subject, you can have a roundtable and to discuss about something. And I think you can come up with the ideas. And one thing I've noted is uh, the universities, it is rare. It is only some serious, I don't know you call them bookworms. 
they are the ones who form some discussion groups. So what I've been doing like in my courses, actually I make them present. Uh, they, uh, sometimes they say, but we are too many. I say, I say it's fine. Even if you're 200, I'm going to group you into 10. And we shall have 20 groups. Then they ask, so how shall we present? I say, it's fine. All of you go and prepare. I'm going to choose randomly. And people, you see them correlating in a group, which has never happened. 20 of them. And all of them come well prepared. Because they know I'll just choose at random. So, and what happens, some of them will come and say, we have maintained the groups, and you see them performing well. So if we have these round tables, they may not be only be used by this, it can also be used for your own uh, revising or study purposes. So we need to adopt this, uh, that model. Uh, then, our inspiration also was to try and recruit maybe 50 students. Uh, because if we're having uh, this S6 levers, I think at some point also as we need as universities, we need these trainings, longer trainings, for three to two weeks. So that we go and... Uh, but also, some of you, some universities are friendly. You have administration that is friendly. You can organize. And I'm sure they, they will talk about it. You can organize and have uh, in in house training. That is possible, but it depends on how the university uh, perceives the problem. That's why we think also at the right time we need to engage the administration. Either we use student leaders, you, the coordinators, or maybe we the, the top management and you, the coordinators. But that is something also that is there to discuss. So that's what I have to share with you. You have this document. Um, take time and go through it. And we can engage uh, and we can continue with the debate or with the engagement on the group that we shall create. But since also you have the numbers of our also and uh, we are open to discussion. So that we make uh, this is a reality. Otherwise, I thank you for listening to me and uh, for good and night.